Please tell me about yourself. Sir, first of all, thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Deepan Kumar, sir. I am from Jawlamba, Bengal District. I have completed my graduation from Jain to College of Engineering and Mathani uh, in STM Mechanical Branch. And coming to my background, I belong to agriculture family. My both parents are uh, doing agriculture. And I have one younger uh, brother. He's also recently completed his degree. And uh, coming to my skills, I have good knowledge in Python and my skill. I have strong communication skills and uh, I always try to find out the new things. At last, uh, I make a clear learner and I always try to learn from my past mistakes. Very good, very good. And you are from mechanical, right? Yes. So, why you have chosen IT then? Sir, um, after completing my engineering, uh, I found that uh, there is a huge growth in software compared to mechanical. That's why I come to here. Okay, but you are not passionate. You are not passionate. So that's why I came to you. You have to tell that. Yes. Not, okay, please. Yes. How much you rate yourself in Python out of five? Uh, I rate for three, sir. Three. Okay. Tell me what do you mean of variable. Sir, variables are the building blocks of any programming language. Mm -hmm. Variables are used to hold the data, and without variables, we cannot do anything. Okay. What happens when you store some value into the variable? Sir, uh, when you store some value into the variable, the memory allocation will be good. The address of the pointed will be variable. Okay, okay, very good. So, what do you mean of if else if ladder? Sir, if you want to check multiple conditions, like one condition is first, you want to come uh, check for another condition or another condition, that for that purpose, we use if else if ladder. Can't we do that without using if else if ladder? If else if ladder is for multiple conditions. Though, yeah. though, I mean, we we'll, we use multiple individual ifs. What is yes. there? If you use multiple individual ifs. There is unnecessary wastage of time and data. Very we have to move again and again. We have to if condition again. If okay. we use if else if, uh, if condition will be done, then it will come safe. You have to tell that. Yeah. You have to tell that. Very good. So, can you write a program? I want you to find nth prime number. Nth prime number means, see, you write 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. All these are prime numbers, right? Yes. For example, if I say third prime number, if I if I give the input as third, I want to print five. Your program has to print five. If I give fourth, four, uh, it has to print seven. Meaning fourth prime number is seven. First prime number is two. So you have to print the respective prime number. That's it. Right. How do you write? Very good, man. Very good. Very good. Okay. Just tell me what is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy? Sir, when you are uh, copying one object into another object by using a cement operator, mm -hmm. both objects are into the same application. This is called shallow copy. Mm -hmm. When you are copying only elements but not addresses, so both are having the different address. This is called deep copy. Can you write an example for deep copy? Very good. Can you explain what is happening there? Sir, just I take a variable x and assign mm -hmm. a list to it. And another Again, I will take y and just empty slip. Just again, I will do y dot extend of x. In this way, uh, x x value will come after y, but the address are different. But if you print the x, those numbers only will. So you are merging x into y. Yes. You have to tell that. Yes. Okay. Very good. Tell me what do you mean of generator. So generator is a special function which is using yield keyword to return the values. Why it is using yield keyword? So if you use return, the fundamental behavior of the return is it once return, it will not come back. So, mm -hmm. if you want to return multiple values, you have to store the all data in one place, then you have to return. So, there is unnecessary usage of data. So, to solve this problem, yield is coming into action. Yield returns value by value to the calling area where it is created. Uh, very good, very good. What do you mean of decorator? Decorator is a special function which is used to modify the output of function without modifying the original function. Okay, very good. Can you write an example for decorator? So, Very good, my dear friend. Tell me what do you mean of abstraction? Sir, abstraction is uh, hiding unnecessary information from outside the world. Mm -hmm. It shows what just the opposite person what user wants. Okay. So, how we can achieve abstraction in Python? Uh, 
for suppose if a client wants only specific information he, do, he doesn't want to know the entire complexity of no no my question is how we achieve abstraction in python how you uh, can implement it yes sir uh, we have to imp import it from shell based class abc based class, ABC based class. ABC. okay no worries and by using abstraction method we can very good so i'm moving to the mysql you are doing good in python there is no doubt tell me what is the difference between primary key and unique key sir uh, primary key is uniquely identifies the each record in a table as unique key uh, unique key identifies but primary key does not allow duplicate values and does not allow null values whereas unique key uh, does not allow duplicate values it allows null values good what is the use of foreign key foreign key is used to establish the parent and child relation between two tables whatever that you are inserting in your child table will be validating the parent table okay can you write an example example query to add a foreign key to department number in employee table to the department number in department table so foreign key foreign key yes very good what is the use of sub queries so sub queries sub query yes uh, if you want to write two to or more queries sub queries will be helpful to see okay by first in query will execute then based on that other query will execute very good very good my dear friend I'm just moving like you now what is the difference between stored function and stored procedure sir so stored functions and stored procedures both are like uh, some set of statements uh, which can be used to reusable then but stored procedure stored functions are it will give only one output like that but stored from process are not like that they are useful for more data okay. so you can add this also like stored functions are meant to make some calculations yes, sir, sir. stored procedures are for dml operations okay.